Hi, today we're making Italian baked chicken and pasta. It's really important to read through your entire recipe before you begin. It's important to wash your hands before you begin cooking as well. And preheat your oven. Today we're preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The ingredients we need today is one cup of any small pasta, two tablespoons of olive oil, a half cup cubed chicken breast, which we'll cut later, a half cup diced onion, one clove of garlic minced, one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a fourth cup chopped fresh flat leaf parsley, a fourth teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, a fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs, a fourth cup of grated parmesan, and one tablespoon of butter. When measuring out ingredients, you want to use teaspoons, tablespoons, and other measuring tools like these because this tablespoon right here is more accurate than this one, and this teaspoon is more accurate than this one. Now we're going to start preparing our ingredients. Let's start with the chicken breast, which we're cubing into one inch cubes. Megan's already washed her hands and she's using a large knife to cube the chicken. Now that the chicken's done, make sure to wash your hands again and keep your knife and cutting board separate from all the other ingredients so you don't contaminate the other foods. Bring a pot of salted water to a boil and cook the noodles. Boiling is when large bubbles rise quickly to the surface. Make sure you turn your handles of your pots inside so nobody knocks them over while you're cooking. The first thing you want to do to chop an onion is cut off the ends like this. And then you want to peel off the outer shell, which is a gold color. The actual onion is more of a yellow, and just place that on the side, yep. <laughs> and then cut your onion in half, and lay the cut side down, and you want to move horizontally, parallel with your board, and cut into the onion. And then after you're done cutting through, you want to stack them on top of each other and start cutting vertically down into finer pieces. And then you can just start cutting it into cubes for your dish. Next, we're going to mince one clove of garlic. To take off the shell of garlic, you want to place a knife down and gently tap it to get the shell off. But don't hit it too hard or you'll break the garlic. And then, facing down, you want to start cutting the garlic in thin slices. And be careful with your fingers. And on the inside, there's a green stem, and you just want to pop it out with your knife and set it aside. And then you're going to go the opposite way so it's like a grid and do the same thing. And then finally to mince it, you just kind of hit it with your knife. To get now we're going to chop the parsley. We're going to start by cutting off the thin ends and then cut the flower part. So when you're chopping parsley, you want to gather all the ends really close together and hold them really tight with your fingers and slide the knife out away from you to chop off the ends. And you want to gather up all the leaves and hold them tight again with your fingers and do the same thing. Push the knife down and away from you and move down towards your fingers, moving them back every time to get a fine chop. And then once you get the leaves, you want to bundle them back up again and start back at the, at the top and move down again. 
and you keep doing this until it's really, really fine. And it takes a while. We need one fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, so use the side tool to measure one fourth cup and make sure you watch your knuckles when you're eating. Now that the pasta is done, we're going to take it off the stove, turn, turn the stove off, and drain it into, drain the water out into, a, into the sink. Be careful so that way the steam doesn't burn you. Now we're going to pour the pasta into a large mixing bowl. To open the can of tomatoes, place the gears on the lip of the can, clamp down, and twist. We're adding the olive oil into a medium saute pan over medium heat, adding the chicken, and cooking for three minutes. We're going to add the onion and the garlic, stirring to combine, and we're going to cook until the onions are soft and the chicken is cooked all the way through. To make sure your chicken is cooked all the way through, you can take your spatula and cut a piece in half to make sure there's no pink on the inside. Now we're going to take the chicken mixture and pour it into the cooked noodles and stir. We're also going to add the canned tomatoes, the mozzarella cheese, the parsley, and the salt and pepper, and stir to combine. Once you're done cooking, turn off your burner and move the skillet to another burner so it can cool down. Be careful of the hot burner. You don't want any food to go down your drain, so when you're finished cooking, make sure to dump the rest of the leftover food into the trash can before you wash any of your dishes. Spray your casserole dish so that way your food doesn't stick. Then dump in the mixture and spread it out evenly. In a small bowl, mix the breadcrumbs with the Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle the cheese on top of the mixture and then get ready to place in the oven. Finally, put a couple slices of butter around the mixture so that way it browns the top when cooking. Make sure the rack in your oven is placed in the middle. Place your dish on the rack and cook for about 30 minutes until the top is golden brown. When washing your dishes, you want to fill up your sink with hot water, just as hot as your hands can stand. Add a little bit of dishwashing liquid and wash your dishes with a cloth or a sponge. You want to wash all of your pans and saute pans last because they have grease on them.
When the pasta is finally done, take it out of the oven using pot holders so you don't burn yourself. One on each side so it's easier to hold. Set it on top of the stove for it to cool down. Close your oven and turn it off. Also, just in case that there are any fires, make sure to have baking soda around so you can put the flame out. When serving your dish, you might want to place down a hot pad so that the table is protected from the heat of the dish. If you have friends over, be polite host and serve them. None of the pasta is sticking because we use cooking spray. Look how good it looks. Thanks, Megan. This looks delicious. Mmm, it tastes delicious too. You guys did a really good job. Now what is in this? Well, it's chicken, noodles, some tomatoes, parsley, onion, garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it. Well, it tastes really good. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for dinner.